NASA has just successfully landed its most ambitious ever mission to Mars. After a seven-month journey through space, the rover, called Perseverance, survived a perilous high-speed plunge through the Martian atmosphere and made it safely onto the surface of the Red Planet, confirming its arrival an hour ago with a tweet. These images, the first sent back within moments. It's the most advanced rover ever sent to another world, one that hopes to eventually return samples to Earth. And its mission is to search for ancient life that may have existed billions of years ago. Tonight's landing is all the more impressive given how much could have gone wrong. Here's our science correspondent, Rebecca Morell. And a warning, her report contains some flashing images. Perseverance is going about one kilometer per second. A nerve-wracking wait at mission control. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. Then celebrations as a signal is received from Mars. It's touchdown for NASA's Perseverance rover. And these are its first images, a view of its landing site before it starts to explore. The rover's even started tweeting too. I'm safe on Mars, Perseverance will get you anywhere. What an amazing team um, to work through all the adversity um, that goes and all the challenges that go with landing a rover on Mars, plus the challenges of COVID and, um, and just an amazing accomplishment. It survived a fiendishly difficult landing, burning through the atmosphere at 12,000 miles an hour before a complex landing system brought it down in an area with some of the oldest rocks on Mars. It's amongst the most ancient uh, crust on the surface of Mars, uh, capturing that period of time between three and a half and four billion years old, which isn't a period of time that's particularly well preserved in rocks here on Earth. So we have a chance to find out about a period of the solar system that we've never studied before. This mission is all about finding signs of life. And the best place to do that is here, the Jezero Crater. Today, it's dry and dusty, but billions of years ago, it was a huge lake, and you can clearly see a river running into it. This gives you an idea of what it would have looked like. If we zoom in a bit more, these green areas on the edge of the crater were once beaches on the lake shore. And the hope is any microscopic creatures that once lived there are still preserved. Perseverance is the most advanced rover that NASA's ever built, and it's jam-packed with instruments. Its robotic arm is equipped with a drill to collect rock samples. So what forms of life could they contain? I am not talking about Martian little green men, probably not even fish. We're looking for microbial life or maybe microbes that have made a little mat or a slime of sorts that you, that you might find on the bottom of a, of a pond. Those are the types of things that are likely to, well, they did exist on Earth three and a half billion years ago. The question is, did they exist on Mars at the bottom of lakes? For the first time, NASA will also be testing a mini Mars helicopter to provide a new bird's eye view of the planet. And back on the ground, the rover will store some of the rocks. A future mission will bring them back to Earth and some will be heading to the UK. These will be the most precious samples that we have on Earth, the most exciting, and scientists around the world will be absolutely fighting and, and clamouring to study them. Getting to the red planet is just the start. Now the hard work begins. This is NASA's most ambitious mission and our best ever chance to know whether life ever existed on Mars. Rebecca Morell, BBC News.